Hello there, welcome back to some more Borderlands 2. In the last episode we went to the Caustic Caverns and found a bunch of switches after going to Swordtooth Cauldron and actually getting the map pieces that we needed. And then I talked and talked and talked and uh, now we're going to play Borderlands again. Uh, let's go back to the Iridium Blight. We want to go to the Arid Wastes and collect ourselves some Skag parts. So let's do that. The Arid Wastes are down the bottom of the map. Yeah. So let's go down there. Goodbye. Excuse me, sir. Not interested in fighting you, Mr. Robot. Those are weird. In a car, I'm much more likely to ignore enemies because I'm going so quick, I'd have to stop to shoot them. But when I'm on ground, I'm already, like, right there, so it feels, like, silly not to kill them. Is that just me? It might just be me. Okay. So I can't get to there yet. So now I have to go to Sawtooth Cauldron anyway. Yeah, I, I knew that I was going to go to Sawtooth Cauldron at some point, or at least I had an inkling that I was going to because I couldn't get to the central um, island. Okay. Cutting myself more than I'm cutting them. All right, here we go. So now I am surprised the uh, warp actually worked. It just seems temperamental. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. It just decides arbitrarily. No, you can't do that. Or yes, you can. From the fast travel system. All right. Indeed. Enter smoking Guano Grotto. Ascend the Inferno Tower. Yes, that's a five seven five. Classic haiku. Um, I don't know how to speak in haiku. It's a, it's an art. It's a it's a practiced art. You have to be able to learn how to do it. But I am not practiced, nor an artist, so it wouldn't be right for me to do it. I'm also not Japanese. Is that a form of cultural appropriation if I do it? I don't know. Probably not. Unsure. If you're unsure about things like that, just don't bother. It's not worth it. Hello. Be gone. Friend. Bye. It's a big old axe to the, the face region. Alright, so the, the best way to the Guano Grotto is down here. You bitch. Let me up. You know you want to. 
All right, fine. I'll go this way instead. Let me in. You're really going to make me go all the way round, aren't you? Oh, now I'm very stuck. Uh oh. Should be able to get out of here. A little bit of finagling. Otherwise I can just exit and quit. Or save and quit. Hang on. Let me just get back in here. It won't take long. The game loads incredibly quickly. Right, thank you. The enemies might have come back, but that's fine. I found someone with great potential. His name is Zero, or at least he's called that. No one knows his real name, and... No, 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 no. next. I think it's a special special guy. Playing Zero Surveillance Slag, you freak! Leaves fall Just yeah, I'm out of here. Leave those guys to deal with their own devices. I fought them once already. None of, none of the oddity and the many oddities that I have. If I kill some things and then the, the game you know, makes me stuck and then I have to come back again, then I have no problem skipping the enemies. Because I'm like, well, I already killed them. I already got their XP. Getting it again. It's just a bit weird. But I'm a, I am a weird guy, so that's understandable. Have a great day. Up to 11,000 health. Nice. Uh oh. That's what I wanted. There we go. That's better. Luckily, my explosion damage is very nice. This is for killing things with assault rifles, I'm guessing. I'm ready now. Now I can fight. Good. Right then, now i got to go up the central tower. So I wanted to go all this time. Yeah. Hello, ambush commander. Goodbye. You fucker. Never stop the killing. Never. You ain't shit. I'm afraid to say you are not shit. You are less than the crap on my boot. That's an interesting door. Ow, the game did not like that. Street Reservoir, find the buzzer hangers, ascend the Inferno Tower, at Tower at Nexus. Bonk. Oh, 
Right, so we've got to go down here. Okay. Goodbye. It's like an action game. We're running away from the evil bandits. Very serial killer of you, but again. Hey, do me a favor. You think about how all of Roland's training, all his experience, but counted for nothing. And ask yourself, if I could kill the wise leader of the Crimson Raiders without breaking a sweat, how hard will it be to kill a psychotic no, bandit king and a drunken like freaking stuff? I can feel this thing around my neck sapping me dry. Promise me. So long as there's a bullet left in your gun, promise me you'll make Jack pay. Okay. Will do. I can do that. Um, yes. I'll also make sure that I shoot them all in the face. Also, Jack, you're full of shit. No, uh, no, we already knew you were full of shit, but you're, you're very full of shit because you did, like, you said you'd handled him, even with all of his experience. You did kind of shoot him in the back by teleporting behind him and nothing personnelling him. So, that's not really fair. You weren't in a, in a straight up fight. You just went, alright, bang, I'll teleport behind you and kill you. Lots of people can win fights if you just telefag them. Not very nice, is it? Get out, get out, get out. I'd fight with the decorum. By which I mean over level to an extreme degree and then kill them in one hit because I'm level 93 and they're level 12. That's not. That's fair. I put the work in. You see. So I'm allowed to be like that. Ooh, nice hit. Yeah, well, thing is, Krieg, I don't care. They aren't my friends. I don't care about the city. I'm, uh, I'm not bothered. Do what you want. The worst kind of adversary. Joey the person cares. Krieg the, the psycho does not care. The worst kind of adversary, the one who doesn't care if you kill them. They have no interest in anything you do. At least call us up. I could try and melee it. Not really going to work, but I'll try. Oh, 
Right, now I can go into super psycho mode. Or sicko mode, as they would call it. Or someone would call it. That's not a throw and a half. Damn you. Too hard to chuck my little axe at them. My axe needs homing, then it would really shine. What do you mean you can't have a homing axe? Of course I can. Try and kill some humans. Uh oh. You'll do. Thank you. Yep. You'll do nicely. So you. This guy's gonna come and find me eventually. And when they do, they'll regret it. Absorb my explosion damage, please. Fuck is shooting me. Destroy Boombringer. Scare Mortar and look like a badass. Oh, and after you blast Boombringer, don't look at the explosion. Just walk away from it. You look like such a badass. Okay. Hang on. That work? Ah, shit. Kill Mortar. Of course I'm gonna kill him. Are you kidding me? Doobadoo. Hello there, friend. Would you like to fight me? I'm sure you would. Customary tea bag for an enemy that you have killed. That's it's necessary. It's not childish, it's necessary. Dum de doo. Well, let's see what's up here then. This must be where the other mission is. The buzzard's nest. The are gonna come in and steal the explosives, but the sky's gotta be clear first. Take out those buzzards. Indeed. That's perfect. I would love to. I don't know why they don't just give up, honestly. I guess because of the same reason we don't give up. Just stupidity. Outright, don't know any better. That's all there is to it. Two more to kill, then we'll be good to go. Yeah, they stop flying away as soon as they get hit. Cowards. Fight me like a man. Face your death with dignity and pride. Huh? 
True Warrior's death. Hello, Ulysses. Not everyone enjoys living on Pandora. Okay. Cool. Now mark those crates for pickup and my boys will come and get them. They'll need those charges to blast open the path to the info stockade. Let's pick up Ulysses' pet. And then we'll go and do this too. Please excuse me. Sir. Hello, Frederick the fish. Ulysses pet fish, Frederick. Best friends gotta stick together. Welcome to Frederick, my boy. I can't hear you. It's time to go insane. All right. Now I've got to get the Hyperion Beacon back, and then I've got to go back up there and just get some bombs, and then I've got to go back and destroy the wall, and then I've got to go forward, and then we're getting towards the la latter stages of the game now, for sure. Below me down here. There we go. Tried to leave so many other times. I couldn't do it. That beacon fell. It's my ticket out. Bring it back. Bring it back. Okay. You want me to go up? I don't know what Carl's up to, but he's doing something. going on on and off a lot not that it bothers me really it's just uh it will appear because it's a window capture it will appear in the top right of the screen so if you notice that that's why but it also means that the steam achievements come up too you kind of can't have one without the other i think there is a setting you can click to not show you what your friends are doing i've already got it so it doesn't show me what they're playing Might just outright be able to put them on ignore forever. Hello there. Right there, right there, right now. Okay. You've got a lunar supply beacon for Ulysses. Why he thinks it will help him escape Pandora is anybody's guess. Okay. Oh dear, oh dear. Maybe she should have stood away from the impact zone a little bit. Just, uh, just a suggestion though. Right, let's steal some crates.
the support wizards. Shouldn't be any danger to them. Should all be dead. Watch your head. Slash coming in. Well done. Jump off the east end of the tower if you want to get back to the fast travel station in the quickest and badassest way possible. I mean, I don't take full damage, so it's kind of cheating. But you're right, it was kind of impressive, wasn't it? Hmm. I'll take my, uh, my kudos when I can get them. No one else in this world congratulates me. <laughs> it would be funny if it wasn't true. Uh, anyway, let's go. Let's carry on. Let's carry on back to, uh, the added nexus. <clears throat> but we have this shit to handle. It's a carport over here. Lovely, I might change the colour of the car too. Let's let's have a little look. So a nice purple. Maybe I've already got a nice purple. Who knows? Purple car. Please no. Don't do it. You will be blood under my boots. You're nearly ten levels lower level than me. Get out of my sight, you peasant. Right. That's already kind of a purple. It says it's turquoise. Dimensional. Yeah. I like that. Right, let's rock. Like a purpley blue. Let's do this. Drive it to the air nexus, baby. We got this shit to do. I remember this place. Oh boy, do I remember this place. Got the Badlands. And that's it for now. Okay. Got this mission button. The turn in mission button is the best button. A fantastic day for capitalism. Get your health and shields right here. Right. I would like some better shields, but I can't get it. Thanks to bricks, buzzards, and your own capacity for extreme violence, you now have what you need to blast your way into the Hyperion Info Stockade and find out where the warrior is buried. Bombs away. Complete the mission Toil and Trouble. You see that building with the light shooting out of it? That's the Info Stockade. We're going to get you there through the main Iridium pipeline. Head there now. Right, so there's something in here to collect gag parts, yep. Yeah. We're gonna need the car because this area is huge. Yeah, I can't remember what's around here that's that's deadly, but there's lots of shit. 
We're level 31, so these guys are getting stronger. Thank you. That's back at Sanctuary. Let's go data mining. Alright, let's first drive around here to explore the whole area. See what's what. Hyperion Truth Network. Your tricks don't concern me. Sounding a bit more Borderlands 1 isn't it? The Hyperion Hawk is a bit of a scary boy. Iridium Pump Station num numero one. I know it's Uno. Don't worry about that. I'm stupid. I'm not that stupid. The, the Hawks, I remember being very annoying. The fuck hit me? Oh. This thing. Please. Okay. Now then, friend. You fucked up. Okay. Damn it all. I hit myself. Your shield's gone now. Now what are you going to do? Ow. At least the Hawks don't have much health. At least. But they hurt a lot, so they all use like missile launchers and shit. Something's fucking hitting me. Oh, it's you. Dickhead mobile. You can't shoot you through that. You're not going to work. Okay. Yeah, the Hawks are what I remember being bad. And I remembered something being bad. Couldn't quite remember what it was. It's the Hawks. Because they all use rocket launchers. And they all do extremely high amounts of damage. Right, so that's the end of that part of the map. That's why I need to clear the whole map so I know where I'm going and what I'm looking at. Right, is there an infiltrator here? Or is he underneath? Either way, not that interesting, just going to keep moving on. We're going to have to come back here to do a lot of shit anyway. Yeah, so we're getting like basic hoop quality, re uh, hoop quality vehicles, shields and that, that are just better than what I can use. So what is this then? The loader maintenance depot.
No hawks, thank you. The RPG loaders can piss off and all. They're all quite spooky. What robot do you know of? Splash. Don't know. Guess it's not relevant. Okay, so that's this. And then there's that part of the map which we'll get to when we go there. We've got the Iridium Pump Station number three. Which will eventually have more enemies in it. So let's go to the place where we want to go. All right. Over to the uh, the pipeline. Lots of earthquakes. Burke. I uh, already cleared this out. Monica, I made it to the Hyperion outpost. Just give me some time and I'll steal a drop barge. Once y'all find out where the warrior is, we can all go after it together. I didn't hear what Mordecai had to say the first time. Bye, friend. Turn that one on. Turn that one on. Cool. Hit the other two pump stations and raise the pressure till that pipe's fit to burst. Then you can bust the pipe, get into the stockade, and find out where the warrior's buried. Okay. Hey, buddy. It's me, Roland. Let's kill Handsome Jack and then we'll all go out for milkshakes. No, I'm just playing. He's still really dead. Grabbed his echo unit you know, when I left. Just wanted to tell you that Lilith is doing a bang-up job charging the vault key for me. The warrior will be awake in no time. Hey. Let's go down to station number two. That's why I didn't see number two. It's underneath here. Overload the second pump station. You're not going to use hawks underground, are you? Surely. That would be a bit uh, risky. I'd say risky. Alright. No, don't do it. So that you. It's just a bunch of robots. We can handle a bunch of robots. What I can't handle is a bunch of robots and a bunch of uh, rocket launcher using madmen. You are a dumb cunt. Sorry, I used, <laughs> I used an extreme word because I was frustrated with myself. There we go. It's one of those, like, what did you expect to happen moments. Okay. Should have known better. There we go. Open that one. Open that one. I don't know why those ones have four frames of animation. Hit the last pumping station and we'll be ready to blast the pipeline open. Oh. 
Okay. Right. Let's keep going. Let's go to the third pumping station. Uh oh. You mean to tell me they're not just going to let me leave? Doesn't seem reasonable. This is what I'm talking about, by the way. The enemies are doing a shit ton of damage to me. They've only gone up a bit in level, but now they're doing like incredible damage. So now we need to do more things. We need to get stronger again. Better guns, better shield, mainly. I don't know if there's like a hidden power level stat or something, so like the level of your gear equates to how much defense you generally have. Some games have that. Oh, there could be hawks here too. You'll know because I'll start losing 30,000 health a, a hit. And it will look like it's for no reason. Even this thing is doing stupid damage to me. Get out. Die, Hawk. Die, Sergeant Loader. Alright. I'll go then, presently. Just give me a moment. Oh dear. The explosion damage is okay. That's why I'm using it more. So basically double the amount of damage I can do with my normal gun. Goodbye. Alright, now we can get towards more uh, levels and stuff again. No, I would spend my iridium on forever. Stat improvements. I've said this before. But I do mean it. Give me more base defense. Give me more base attack. Give me more base health. Make it expensive if you want. That's fine. I just want it. I, I don't know how that worked, but I'm not complaining. That, that's fine. Worked well enough for me. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. Wandering through the big pipe. Spooky pipe. The bitrate should handle this okay because it's not massively colourful or anything. The Transmix Regulator Station. I know the idea. 
The idea wasn't bad. The execution left something to be desired, though. That's, that's death. Right, let's have a look around what's here then. More hawks, I'll bet. And when even shield surveyors are doing a thousand damage to you, you might time might be time to reevaluate what you're doing. Let's need better gear. That's all it is. somewhere that just sealed it just it's a shield surveyor why is that such a hard thing for me to say my tongue wants to make the sh sound when it doesn't need to make the sh sound the shield surveyor is a difficult being to shoot all right here we go Hyperion Info Stockade in the Arid Nexus Badlands. Uncle Teddy and more. Okay. The way to warp here now. It has been activated for me. Let's go walk to, to the, the shop. See what's there. TK Baha's house. And as soon as I saw this, I was like, oh. Oh, indeed. Oh. It all makes sense now. I'm back at Borderlands 1. Kill the little man! Never stop the killing! Never! Okay, let's have a look. Hungry like the skag, an audio diary covered in slobber and stink. Skags eat everything. What a nice day. Just walking out in the sun, talking into my echo recorder, hoping skags don't ambush me and break my gun into four separate parts before eating them. Oh, come on! That is exactly what is happening! Ah! Skags eat a the gun. Goes here. No way to tell which one of the ugly things has it. Just start hunting skags and hope for the best. Yes, see, this is a classic Borderlands 1 mission. Find the gun part. <laughs> the most interesting of the missions in the game. Not. Yeah, so this is the first map of the game, Borderlands 1. Obviously, things have changed. Hyperion have fucked up a bit. Some guy from uh, the Hyperion Corporation came by. The name of Blake. <coughs> Said you dealt with him during the class trap uprising. Anyway, he offered me a pretty penny from a place here in Firestone. <coughs> Was really insistent that I take the money and run. Let That's me loose! I'm gonna stay here for the meantime, though. Hey, got a part of the gun. Beautiful. Pisswash Gully should be here somewhere. Yes, 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 yes. I hate me. That's annoying. Hopefully the skag don't live long enough to be a real threat. Okay. 
Are you quite done? You can find them all over. Yeah, that's piss wash gully. But we can't go any further than that because it's all covered in, in slag. So we can never jump that gully again, unfortunately. As for the rest of it, Firestone's over there. Over in oh, that area direction. But it's not necessarily going to be how we remember it. Hello. The pain goes here. Yeah, stop that. Nasty skag. Let me loose. Gimini. Also, all the other maps are not the same. So that would be expected. Yes, yeah, so there's the map. Carries on over there, but again, we can't go that way. Another one of those missions where you might have to kill a bunch of skag by loading the game and coming back again before it actually gives you the mission. Here's Firestone, yep. That's where Marcus dropped off the bus, so at least we're near to it. I forgot. Bonehead 2.0. Has he still got his... Yeah. The lead wind blows. He's still got his gun. His special gun. The murdering bone shredder. Yes. Nice little gun that was, back in the day. It's like everyone's first taste of a, a like a special gun. And Bonehead was also most people's first death. Because you'd go there too early and get yourself bodied. And be like, the game's bullshit. At least that's how my experience went. There's Dr. Zed's clinic. Ow. Yeah, pretty much a lie. Yeah, basically. Good news, everybody. I stole the drop board. Hyperion was no match for my secret punch you in the face until you die fighting style. When the time comes, we'll fight our way to the vault together. Right, yes, yeah, so we need to get the the right wire. There are a bunch of wires, but you need to follow the correct one. I'll do it. I'm Dr. Zed. Hey, Roland. I appreciate your offer to move into Sanctuary, but I got a lot of stuff here in Firestone. Uh, Sanctuary sounds nice and all, but Firestone's my home. I made my decision. If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die in the city I was born. Firestone. Attention, citizen of Firestone. Die. Oh, piss. Okay, so it's a good shock, uh, Nova Shield. Inflammable Turtle Shield, I don't lose that much health. 4200 juice. But then I remember I always lose more than it looks like I do.
But this is the sort of place I want to be now. The Firestone population was 24. It's a lot less than 24 now. Right, now we can get back over here. This is sort of where we, we initially started. I don't remember having to kill Saturn. I remember it existing. And murdering me very many times. It's one of those things where if it does kill me, I will not be able to kill it before I, uh, before I perish. Stop screaming! Get out. Give me the loot. Saturn dealt with. Oh, that's... Yeah, this is the, the thing that protects the stockade. I forgot. Okay. You do have to kill it. That's some nice regen. It's a shame it's for a different character. Bastards! Alright, okay. Let's, let's carry on. Oh, I've got... I've been playing for an hour. I was not looking at the time. Having too much fun and all that. Right. I think I'll call it here then, so I'll see you guys next time when we go try and find this gun and then go into the stockade. See you then. Goodbye.